okay, the course is <laughs> on now. So <laughs> I take We've over. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys and misses. Uh, I'm hijacking quickly. Uh, actually, short story before I start, and so we can wrap up. Uh, we had some kind of co-host demo that was needed to be done in um, in Seattle with Aiden. And this demo actually was normally to be used yesterday. So that was a secret. And due to my supercomputer, it went out. And so uh, I could not do it yesterday. So thank you for the time. Please stay tuned. Uh, what we will do is hopefully, again, something that will be very, very amazed on. So you will see the full screen. So spoiler alert, uh, we are totally doing, um, how do you say? We are totally doing a, a custom dem, a custom distro, but this one, uh, like uh, what Simon showed was based on Docker. Mine is based actually on LXD. So thanks to the hack of systemd again on WSL2, or if you have like uh, Ubuntu directly, uh, actually, let me just get out of uh, Telegram quickly so it will keep popping up. Okay, so um, what you can do is like uh, run uh, quickly the Ubuntu on Hyper-V, for example, or a multipass, right? So, and you can install uh, LXD there, and so you can follow along now. So, uh, I will use community tools like WSL Fetch. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, you can see that I'm actually running uh, 1804, uh, which is, if I go to my profiles, uh, for once, I'm totally legal. <laughs> it's the one from the store, uh, changed uh, with some things by me, but uh, I mean, everything is on the net nowadays, so you can find it. Now, that out. So let's create actually a focal fossa as you can see, the nice logo from my, oh my God, Ubuntu. Um, and uh, we will create it thanks to LXD. So if I just quickly show you the Ubuntu slash focal. So, uh, oh, hey, oh, images, sorry. Hey, hey, this is live. This is totally live. This is for Nathaniel, uh, USL, WSL user, sorry. Um, it was really up to and me too, actually. So there's a lot of things here. So let me actually now start copying past the, the commands. It will be easier. Of course, I already have the, the image done. And as you can see, it's going faster because everything was prepared and I'm actually running on the computer this time. This is Windows 10, no VM, no nothing. So it might go way faster. Uh, let me go to the list. We can see that our uh, container is actually running. That's what we want. And now uh, I already prepared here uh, the, oops, that's not what I want. Again, control C. So I will be creating uh, the user. Okay. I'm changing the password directly here with change passwords. And I'm also, uh, yeah, normally it should be okay if we do something like that now. Oh, it's the sudo, sorry. Let me let me redo it. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. All right. So it's just adding no password to the sudo, or, uh, to the sudo group, so I don't have to type it. Because I, I won't remember it, not my usual password. Uh, then we will install actually demonized font config. So this demo, while it does that, uh, this custom distro, what it will be doing actually, and I will post that afterwards, is that we are creating the focal fossa with SysMD embedded with the default user directly. So the moment we will launch, hopefully you will see, we will get uh, SysMD up and running directly on your uh, new distro. Uh, let me clear. Uh, then we add the small hack to the bash RC. So all that is uh, available on my slide that I will be sharing. It's uh, from uh, Daniel. Um, all right. So now what you don't see is that I have files here that I already prepared. So I have the WSL conf. 
and the most important part here you know normally but it's just i'm ensuring that my default user is the correct one and finally i have like the both uh enter namespace and start okay you i'll let you know everyone wants to go home we are home already so that's Unintended. So here, LXC does something really cool, like Docker CP is like a file push, so I can push a file from my local system to my running container. And uh, actually, I will just run it just to ensure that it copied correctly. All right. Finally, I copy both systemds to the user has been. All right. So. Now comes the funny part. Uh, during the Docker uh, demo, uh, what you don't see, but I did it like some time ago also, is like you also need to create a container and then export it in tar -JZ. In LXC, we do that thanks to the snapshots, okay? So what we do is like we create a snapshot of uh, our uh, VM or container in this case, it's not the VM really, running, and then we publish it as a, image which is local so let us wait a little bit hopefully it will go fast you can do it 30 percent already this time is a bit uh everything is okay i'm on time on my stolen time Yep, we're not going to cut you off. <laughs> okay, I, I don't hear you, so I, I'm good to go. I, I uh, again, I hijack. So here don't we worry, can we see can the, turn the, you off. <laughs> <laughs> here the the image is done. So uh, cool. So let me export that into here. So what it will do is like it will export the image. Uh, now there's something that we need to understand uh with docker it's uh, you when you export the container you can re-import it because it's a root fs directly here uh it's a bit more tricky because it's not what it does uh so i will just uh, i do a sudo so i can have the same owner we, uh to avoid that the files are actually uh re um rewritten with uh, my own user uh, and you can see that actually this star JZ is not the rootfs itself. It's, it contains the metadata and the rootfs. So now if I go to the rootfs and just to ensure that I'm not uh, having issues with the ARDs. Um, uh, oh, I didn't put it here, but anyway, it will work here. Uh, but for some uh, distros like Clear Linux, for example, you had to uh add the dash dash hard dereference because the hard links are not really uh handled when you import with wsl uh so it's it's a small bug that it's here and i think it's um someone i don't remember the name now but who, who made it uh who made it work so oops it didn't copy correctly Oh, sorry, control C here. Yeah, but no, no, okay. So I have to redo it. Sorry for that mistake. F and key got in the way. Um, so yeah, so um, the R the reference might help you for, uh, at least I know clear Linux help me, void Linux, uh, which you can get also from uh, LXC actually help me. Uh, so here are my custom distros, by the way um except these three that you know now that was the ones from yesterday uh manjaro endeavor i think it was okay uh yeah i think it's more likely clear uh read that it was okay also all right so let me clear it here uh and now i can simply copy it into uh some part that windows will see it which is the WSL distros. All right. Okay. So now, uh, actually, I put it PowerShell, but uh, we don't really need it. Uh, so I can import my WSL conf distro tar jz. And finally, if I do something like this, 
Uh, oh yeah, because I was on PowerShell. Here we go. We have it. Okay, systemd is all over the place. Uh, but if I do a system CTL status, for example, here we go. It's running. Beautiful. So uh, last but not least, I didn't end. Sorry. Uh, if I do an IP ADDR show, there's a nice bug uh, of H0. As you can see, I don't have anything anymore here. I don't have AP. Uh, so the systemd by default like breaks. Uh, for whatever reason, the the micro VM network. So if I run uh, something else that has nothing to do, like again, I will run again the Ubuntu, the normal Ubuntu. Uh, here I have my if config, config, and it's zero. You can see that there's no more AP. Uh, so to do that, uh, we will have to actually uh, do a sudo system ctl uh, stop system the the network d because there's uh, I didn't get it yet. So for the more low level Linux, you might want to to have a look about this one. Um, network oh network. All right, and I will disable it. And I will also disable, it was what, like uh, socket? Anyway, so uh, I will post the, the, the end part, but as you could see, like it just took like this amount of time. It was what, like five, 10 minutes maybe of typing uh, and if you have a GIS or something like that then it's uh, just going up but you could like create your custom distro with a cost uh, with a, a user a default user and finally all the system the goodiness inside uh, I'll just post the rest of here but I don't want to I mean to take more time that was it sorry thank you so much Nuno that's great no that was very cool thank you for showing off that Lexi um, Distro Builder is also a really cool tool in LexD for building customized uh, Linux distros. You can use uh, YAML to build custom images of uh, Ubuntu um, and all of the other uh, major distributions. Uh, let's see, any questions for Nuno? I know this wasn't a planned session. That's what happens when you get hijacked by the WSL Corsair. So thanks for sharing. Uh, can you gist that? I think. Yeah, you, I will. Are you going to? Are you, are you going to do a blog post later? Or I will blog post actually. Yeah. 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 Make a blog blog post out of it so we can promote it. Anyone uh, coming out of this conference who uh, is inspired to write or uh, you know uh, talk somewhere, let us know about it. Uh, tag me at Unix Terminal. Tag Zohini. Uh, on Twitter so that we can we know about it, we can promote it. Um, if you uh, go and talk to a local user group about WSL and have questions um, or want to run your presentation by us, uh, you know, or just need more information, we're here. Um, the Telegram channel's there. Um, uh, I monitor the issues page on GitHub. Uh, if you can always follow new underscore WSL underscore issues on Twitter. Uh, that's a bot that tweets out new issues that are opened uh, on uh, uh, the, the issues page for WSL. And it's really easy if you're just browsing through Twitter and you see someone, oh, they have an issue that I've dealt with before, seen before, you can jump in and help and link them. That's a really great way to support the community. Thank you, everyone.